So I said you have to be careful with the amount of capsule you guys will be using during this time. You know, this is just a single fish here. So you do the same thing, you put in some fresh water. Hi guys, hope you all are doing great. So quickly in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the practical ways you can use to treat your sick fish. If you are a good follower of this page, you will notice that uh, I once dropped a video where I listed some medications, some items you can apply to your fish when they are dropping, when they are dying at large quantity or when they are attacking each other in the pond. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make use of these medications. So I would love you to watch this video to the end. The number one uh, medication I'll be talking about today is the salt solution. We all know that uh, as effective as salt solution is when it comes to, you know, treatment of catfish uh, disease, it is very, very dangerous if you don't apply the right measurements while using it. We use, we use uh, salt to kill fish and we also use salt to revive them back to life depending on how you make use of the, uh, use of the salt, the sodium uh, chloride. So the number two medication I'll be showing you guys today is the tetracycline. The red and yellow capsule. This we all know about this. The red and yellow capsule. I'll be showing you guys how to make use of this also. And also the chloralphenicol. You can also use this to treat uh, catfish when uh, they are injured or when they are being infected with bacterial infection, you know, diseases like that. So I would love you guys to watch this video to the end because you will gain value from this video. So the number one way I'll be showing you guys today is the salt solution. I do advise farmers to use this formula for their salt solution. Apply 1 kg of salt to 1,000 liters of water. But since these fish are not in the pond today, I just cooked them out uh, yesterday. We were trying to attack them, so I decided to bring them out to use for an illustration. So since this is not a thousand, uh, a thousand liters of water do or not to use too much salt or else you end up killing the fish i don't know if you guys can see properly this fish is uh, being attacked you can see the body and some injuries on its body so i will show you guys how i will use the salt solution to treat this disease a very simple method so make sure you don't use too much salt Make sure I don't use too much salt. Then you can put in fresh water to dilute the salt. I hope you guys can see. It's a very simple method. Very simple method. It's there. Very well. Then, simply pour the salt solution in the pond. Then you leave it, you can leave it for 7-8 hours. After 7-8 hours, if it was inside the pond, I have to do it for 7-8 hours. After 7-8 hours, then I can top up the water. Save it so to reduce the need of flushing the water totally. You can just top up the water, then the fish will be okay. If there are no changes, you can repeat the same process. The next day, you can repeat two or three times. Then the fish will come back to life. Just make sure you don't add too much of salt when using salt solution or else you end up killing your fish the more. So the fish is under uh, treatment like this. Under treatment you just have to leave it to uh, six, seven, eight hours. Then you drop up the water. You're good to go. So the second one I'll be showing you guys is the tetracycline, the red and yellow capsule. I'll be showing you guys how to make use of that also. So I'll be using another fish for that. I will step aside this one so that this one can cure properly. So I have the second method here now. So how do we apply the to treat 
uh, see Chris, I have another fish here now. Because you guys can see it properly. Another injured fish here. You can see its body. Another injured fish here. So what are we expected to do with tetracycline? Just go to a pharmacy's uh, store and tell them not to buy tetracycline. They will buy it. They will sell to you red and yellow capsules. So you just peel out the capsules. You peel out the capsules. Peel out. Then you put, uh, you allow the substance to come out of the. Like I said, you have to be careful with the amount of capsule you guys will be using during this time. You know, this is just a single fish here. So you do the same thing, you put in some fresh water to dilute. So, stir. Same procedure as well as uh, the salt solution. You stir. So, it is totally dissolved. Then, you apply it. simple as that so those are the two methods i want to teach you guys today i believe one should work for you on your farm anyone that works for you try and uh get yourself used to that particular method salt solution the, the red and yellow capsule and the chlorophenicol are both uh you know works perfectly well depending on your choice so when you have any mortality on your farm or your fish attacking, whether you have injuries on your fish or you have bacteria infection, you can make use of any of these ways to treat your fish. So that will be that for today. I'll leave this also in this pond for seven, eight hours. Then I, you know, I top up the water. I, I put the fish inside another separate pond to it recovers properly. So that will be that for today. I believe you've gotten value from this video. If you got some value from this video, do want to share this video and do want to keep engaging with our post. So thank you for watching today's video. Do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.